is Jason Stanley. Uh, I'm a teacher in the philosophy department here at Yale University uh, and the Jacob Yurofsky Professor of Philosophy. I want to talk about education versus indoctrination, a topic that for philosophers is central to our discipline. It goes back to Plato's Republic, who calls for education as the solution to ideology. Uh, however, our education system has often been the source of ideology and not the solution, has far too often been the source of ideology and not the solution. And the history of our education system clearly reveals this. You might think it's just recent that education is the site, education school boards are the site of ideological battle. Education has always been the site of ideological battle. In the United States, a key book is Edward Ross's 1901 book, Social Control. The title tells you about the topic. Ross is wondering what the best way to, is to affect social control of the masses by the elite. 1900 to 1920 is a very dark time in our nation's history. And Ross concludes that the best way to impose social control is via the education system. He points out that churches don't require mandatory, mandatory uh, attendance. He points out that there's no, that voluntary clubs don't either. Schools, however, one can require all children to go to schools. You can take them away from the ideological formations they have at home, and you can expose them the whole day to a set of ideas. And the set of ideas can be set from above. So a very important era in our nation is 1900 to 1920, when the National Education Association, which was crafted by people influenced by Ross, like David Snedden, did, did a series of uh, panels over six to 10 years, culminating in the 1917 uh, Secondary uh, Principles of Cardinal Education, which creates our public school system. For instance, it divides middle school from public school and elementary school. And crucially, it, it creates social studies. Social studies was decided in the so-called social studies history war, wars uh, as the way to go in our education system. So the historians wanted history taught. What is history? History is the detailed recounting of what happened. From, and what happened contains multiple perspectives on what happened. It contains the Native American perspective on what happens. It contains the African American perspective on what happens. It contains the perspective of disabled people, of LGBTQ people, it, of Irish American immigrants, of women. But it was decided that something else was going to be taught in our schools. What was going to be taught in our schools was a uniform narrative of American identity. A uniform narrative of American identity precludes, by its very character, multiple perspectives. And you can bet that if you're going to tell a uniform narrative of American identity determined by the National Education Associate, by the NEA, it's not going to be a view from any traditionally marginalized group. It is not going to be the Native American view. That will not be the uniform narrative. Now an official reason, something that our education systems have always responded to, was the desire to assimilate immigrant groups. So, the idea was to tell a story of American education that, that gave students the sense of, American, of a uniform American identity, the glories of American empire. And John Dewey, the great philosopher, unfortunately was caught into this narrative because he came down on the side of social studies because he thought the goal of social studies should be to together construct an identity, a uniform identity. He didn't realize that social studies was in fact going to be used as a way to impose an identity from the top as a method of social control. So we need to, when theorizing about education, education is the foundation 
of any democracy. Without, without an education that prepares you to take, to take part in policy discussions, and policy discussions include things like redress for past wrongs, for which you need to know about marginal, the history of marginalized groups. Uh, we need an education system that gives us multiple perspectives. Uh, and unfortunately, the American education system for too long has not done that.